we haven't managed to win a game on camera in three episodes. Today's gonna be the day where we're actually going to do it. Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2021 Building a Nation with Latvia, Skins Academy, you know the deal by now. What's happened in between episodes? Well, we've won a Europa Conference League game, because of course we have. It was close, but we won thanks to a Janis Vogel's 88th minute winner. Wilson returns from his injury to score a goal, so does Robert Mikulov. We also beat Dag for Pills, drew with Lepaja and won a couple of cup games as well against Miku and also Lepaja once again today. Basak here, Valerenga, that is going to be what we're going to do in our group stage games I don't think we're going to get through. Today we'll decide whether we do. If we don't go out of the, get through the group stages, we might be having a fairly short season because I'm not going to play too much of the actual Latvian stuff. Let's play Valarenga, shall we? It's Bashakcha here. It's it's not Valar. It's Bashakcha here. It's not Valarenga. Today then we are mixing things up a little bit. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hold on to points. I'm trying to hold on to coefficient points. That is the goal. And we're going to go for route one, 4 4 2, because we've got players that kind of fit those positions. The only question mark is Wilson. But, I mean, we could, if we want to, we could do that actually, couldn't we? I mean, Bossard's going to have a bit of a job down that right hand side, but this is what we're going to go for. Zomas in goal, Bossard, Bakioka, Vugles, and Adjamani in the back. Mikolov, Kauna, Zavs, and Wilson as the midfield. And Yerkovs and Mikolov as our strikers for this one. I think we might be able to pick up a point here. Now, in between episodes, I've been kind of considering what we need to do as a team to essentially make the videos a bit more interesting because I don't want to lose every single episode that we have. Now, what I've realised is defensively, we're pretty garbage. Going forward, we've actually got some very good players. They're just not necessarily doing the job at the moment, in particular Zavs and uh, Wilson and Ryback as well on the wings. Those are the players that seem to be struggling, which is why... I've opted to drop them back a little bit and go for a slightly different approach. Zomers comes out. Good job from Zomers. Seven minutes on the clock. We're going route one. Here we go. Yurkovs heads that ball across to nobody. Cool. Route one's not really paid off so far, has it? Ratchet forward. Crivelli. Lovely tackle. I mean, it's a dodgy tackle, but it was a good tackle in the end. Roberts Miklov doesn't get there. And now Bashakcha here can come forward. Giuliano's going to run off towards the right-hand side. Back flick. Now Crivelli across to Rad Ratchet. Possibly Ratchet Mikov again with a decent slide tackle, but we don't get the ball away this time. Ratchet plays that off towards the right hand side. Kaisara, he's got some company in front of him, plays it back. Kaisara once again into the area. Giuliano's there, and it's 1 0 to Bashakcha here. Route 1 football basically involved us kicking it down to their player and then them having a counter attack. Then is with a free kick. It's 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 found its it's found its way in. It's 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 2 0. Is it 2 0? It, it says defenders are appealing offside. VAR is going to tell me. It, it's it's no goal. Okay, it's 1-0. It was offside, apparently. So it stays 1-0 for the moment. But, I mean, again, not very good. Uh, what a stupid free kick. What an absolutely stupid free kick. It's another chance, though. Bishakti's corner comes in. Front post. That's found its way into the top corner. It's 2-0. Well, back to Old Faithful. Back to the 4-2-4. Simple switch over because the uh, Route 1 football clearly is not working. We just now need to score at least two goals to get back into this game. You might be wondering as well why we're missing a couple of uh, key players, Samed and Tronikov's uh, injuries. Injuries and suspensions, basically that's why they're not here today. Visca has this in the middle at once. Again, Radcic over the left-hand side. Bossard heads back to Zomers. Just under half an hour played here in Turkey. Adjamani's going to go long towards Mikulov. I think it was Mikulov, wasn't it? Header forward from not one of our players. And once again, Bashak here can come forward with the ball. Visca down the left-hand side. This, I realised, I was I was optimistic last episode. I was optimistic about how we're going to do in our Europa League group. I think I think this is kind of just showing that we're not good enough at the moment. We are not good enough for Europa League football. It means that yes, it's three, it's three now, it's three now. It means I think we are maybe two or three seasons away from being competitive in Europe, and by competitive. Last season, we were competitive, and I think it was mainly luck. Ten minutes left of the first half. It is obviously 3-0 to Bashakcha here. Adjamani back to Yanis Vugels. Scored the winner against them last time we played them. Vugels to counter. Back to Vugels once again. Goes forward. Finds Zavs with his yellow card. Zavs, since he's basically started playing recently, 
come back from injury, I think it is. He's been absolutely appalling. He has been just one of the worst footballers on the on the face of this earth. And that might be a bit of hyperbole, but I mean, he's he's garbage. He's been absolutely garbage. Wilson, on the other hand, has been pretty good apart from this match. Wilson down the right-hand side. He's been tripped. He's kept hold of the ball, though. Can he get his cross away? He does. It's behind towards Zavs, and Zavs drags his effort wide of the post. Still 3-0. And it stays 3-0 at half-time. It's just not working, is it? I'm going to throw the water bottle. I'm not happy. We're going to go straight out for the second half. We are just... Europe this season, it, it's not going to work, is it? It's just not going to work. We need strengthening. That's really what we need. Bossard... Not Bossard, sorry. Wilson crosses that in. Mikhailov is there. It's 3-1. It's not over. Since we've changed formation, we have kind of got back into it-ish. I mean, they still scored. I didn't realise that was like the first highlight of the second half. But Shakhtar here have this, literally two and a half minutes into the second half. Kaisara on the right-hand side, plays it back across into the middle. It's taken multiple deflections. We've cleared the ball. The highlight ended. I'm not sure who cleared the ball, but we managed to do it. Right, Bossard, you're having a shocker. Although, oh, we, didn't, we haven't got a right-back on the bench. How have we not got a right-back? Balins, I think, is going to have to come on as our right back. Even though he's not very good as a right back, we're going to have to do it. Yurkovs as well is having an absolute shocker. So Korzans is going to come on. I think that's it for the moment. Balins on the right, or Balins, Balins, whatever his name is, I'm a bit worried about. I'm genuinely a bit worried about it. If we can get something out of this game, Europa Conference League isn't dead and buried, is it? Because we're going to be on six points, which is the same as Bashakcha here, and I think Sparta Prague. Mikhailov has this. Can he get this ball into the middle? He can't. Plays it back to Adjumani instead. Finds Roberts Mikhailov into the penalty area. Plays it across to Zavs. He's at the post. How have we not scored that one? If we actually win this game, we move into second place. Uh, sorry, third place just ahead of Bashakcha here, who will only have three points. We will be on six points. But at the moment, it is obviously going the way of the Turkish side. We've got about 15 minutes left. We've nicked this. Mikhailov to Wilson, who I think, again, he's played all right. He's got a 6.5, though, for some reason. Bakayoko's going to go long towards, I'm not sure who that was, Korsans, to Roberts Mikhailov. Mikhailov puts that in the bottom corner. It's 3-2. Hold on. Hold on a... Hold on a minute. We might be doing something here. I'm going to fire them up. I'm going to fire them up. Is it going to work? It's probably going to make everyone look complacent. Straight after the goal, there is a highlight. Obviously, Bashakcha here with the ball at the start. If we can steal it. Wilson's there, chasing Dennis across from their right or their left hand side. Visca down their flank. Zavs is with him. It's not it is Zavs. Zavs is still on the pitch. For some reason I thought we subbed him. Crosses that ball in. Crivelli chests it down. Zomers holds on. I think that was the highlight. It was the highlight. Right, let's do ourselves our final change. It will be Zavs coming off. Rybax is gonna come on. And do we swap you over? No, we keep you that way round. Rybax can go on the left hand side. We've got ten minutes. To find an equaliser. We've got five minutes to defend this and find an equaliser. Corner, cr or free kick, that's what it's called, comes in. Zomers holds on. I think that was the whole highlight. Or it may maybe not. Ball in the makeshift right back has this ball. Across to Bakayoko. Down towards Wilson. Can he do anything special? The big Ivorian. Back to Bakayoko. The two Ivorians passing between them. All the way back to Zomers. The international goalkeeper. Now Yanis Vogels. The first proper graduate from the academy, in my opinion, and that was, uh, was awful. That was awful. Is that Jack Stevens playing for Bashakcha here? Burke's in on goal here. Burke puts it in the bottom corner. It's game over. It's game over. I got distracted by Jack Stevens playing in Turkey, okay? It is actually Jack Stevens playing <laughs> playing for Bashakcha here. I mean, he went there last season. Fair enough. Mikulov with a free kick. Are we going to get ourselves another consolation goal? Bakayoko heads over the bar. That is going to be it here then in Turkey. A 4-2 defeat, most likely. We've got 40 seconds to play. We are seeing the goal kick for some reason, which I suspect is probably just going to run down the clock. It's not great, is it? It's not great at all. We've won one of our four games so far in the Europa Conference League. I don't think we're going to win anymore. It's not, it's not ideal. It's genuinely not ideal. But getting into the Europa Conference League group stages, I guess, is better than not getting there. But Shakhtar here is still coming forward with this ball. I don't know whether there's a goal here. I think there might be, you know. Kaisara, right-hand side. Raphael's going to pick this ball up. There's four in the middle. Is he going to cross it? Plays it back instead. Just outside the area. Raphael gets it. Across to Ratchet. Nope, the full-time whistle goes. I hate those highlights, okay? I really hate those highlights because it looked like something might have happened. Guys, I'm going to say I can't fault your effort. We did all right. We got a couple of goals. Let's try and keep, keep the motivation high. But I think Europe might be done. We're going to find out in the next match, which is going to be Valarenga.
technically we can still get through, but we need to win our final two games. If we lose any one of them or draw any one of them, we are not going through. So if we beat Valerenga, we also need to hope that uh, I think Prague versus Bashak here might need to be a draw as well. Because if that isn't a draw, we aren't going to be able to get ahead of anybody. Because we'll be on six points. One of those two teams will be on nine points. We then... Uh, there's a lot of things that could go wrong and probably will go wrong. We've also got to play, I think, one league game. Yes, we do. Against Ventspils. We'll be back for Valerenga in just a moment. I just want to be out of Europe right now because Europe is actually affecting our league form. We have just played Ventspils and drew 0-0 against Ventspils because we had to rotate the squad. And uh, yeah, Valerenga up next. We've still got, obviously, Valerenga and Sparta Prague to play. It's going to be Zormas in goal, Bossard, Bakayoko, Lizanovs, Najamani at the back. Samad and Tronikov's return in the middle of the pitch. Rybacks, Zavs on the wings. Yurkovs and Mikolov as our strikers. Obviously, you can see we're going back to the 4-2-4. Because it works, but maybe not this season. So Europe will be over if we don't win. Like regardless of what happens elsewhere, if we don't win, we're out of Europe. Which I feel like is going to happen. It is a chance for Valerenga with the ball deep in our half as well. Nakim to this man's name. Back to Nakim. Crosses that ball in. Back post is Donum. And Donum makes it 1-0. And uh, I think, I think Europe might be over. Corner comes in, and Zomers is... It's 2-0. Two, it's two Zomers, what are you doing, buddy? Well, since their second goal, not a lot's happened. Finally, we've got something. A minute and a bit to go. They're going to go down to 10 men. Right. It's, I don't know, is this a good thing? Because I feel like they're just going to shut up shop, and they're already 2-0 up, so they are well entitled to do so. They're not chasing anything. Half-time, we have literally not had a shot. Thrash my arms, I'm far from pleased. Let's try and do something in the second half. Let's give them a demand more. Let's try and fire them up even more than they already are. We've got an early highlight. Adjamani to Roberts Mikulov. He's been tackled. Keeps hold of it, though. Two in the middle. Plays it back to Troninkovs. Abdul Samed just outside the area. And the Ghanaian blasts that into the back of the net. Hold on. Is this, is this actually happening? It's still 2-1. There's still plenty of time to go. But they're down to 10 men. Abdul Samed now with a free kick a few minutes later. Yurkovs is there. It's crossed the goal. Roberts Mikulov picks this one up. Plays it forward straight to a Valarenga player who clears it upfield. But Bakioko gets it forward once again for us. Question? Nope. Okay. It's gone all the way back to Zomers, who is now on a 6.6. .6. I think he was on a 6.0 earlier. Lizanovs to Bakioko. Are we going to run this or are we going to pass it forward? On the right, we do have Rybacks. We've also got the boss, Kevin Bossard. Troninkovs. Left-hand side is Zavs. Adjamani's making a run. And the little La Latvian Ivorian, sorry, can run into that space. He's got plenty in the, in the middle. Zavs has this. He's crossed it. Abdul Samed is there. And Abdul Samed is making things happen with his second of the game. It's 2-2. That sending off might have just saved our European adventure. Abdul Samed now on the search for a hat-trick. Instead, tries to find the boss, Kevin Barsad, at the back. It's cleared. I don't think that was the highlight. So Bakayoko eventually picks that ball up to Troninkovs. Abdul Samed to Bossard to, tr to Samed. Back to Bakayoko. Kevin Bossard then. Down the right-hand side. Mikulov flicks that head on. Yurkovs is there and we've taken the lead. We've actually taken the lead. Them getting that player sent off has just put them at disarray. The Skins Academy is 3-2 up against Valarenga. Don't take your foot off the pedal now. Do not take your foot off the pedal. Let's keep going. Let's make it 4 We've got 20 minutes left to play. I'm going to do a change because Rybax is playing absolutely garbage. So Wilson's going to come on. I've been rotating Wilson in and out because he's still not particularly match fit. Sparta Prague are 4-0 up against Bashak Shahir. What is going on? We still might somehow qualify for the next round. Add Jamani to Zavs. Where is he going to go? He's into the area. I think that might be a free kick. It's going to go to VAR. If this is a penalty, how good how good is Abdul Samad at taking penalties? Can we find out? Because I, I really don't want him taking them if he's bad. Eight. It's all right, isn't it? I mean, it's not all right, but for our team, eight's probably one of the better penalty takers. So, referee, what is it going to be? Is it a penalty? It is not. It's going to be a free kick instead, which is still probably going to be Abdul Samad anyway taking it. It is Abdul Samad. Is he going to cross it or go for goal? It's gone towards the back post. I think it was Kevin Bossard it went towards. Abdul Samed once again, Carlos Lizanovs 
Plays it all the way across to Jean-Stefan Wilson on the right-hand side. I think that's Troninkov's down there making a run. Abdul Samed's not going to get that ball from the boss. And the highlight is going to end. We've got literally four minutes to hold on. We're going to take Mikulov off for Korsand. I'm going to do some time-wasting subs. I know I should probably change it from positive to defensive. But we're not going to. We are also going to do another Mikulov coming on this time. I mean, we're going to take Zavs off. We're just going to have Maris Mikulov on the wing for the moment. Just time waste. Just come on the pitch. Take some time. Don't be doing this now. Don't do this now. Bakayoko's cleared that. Good. Yerkovs across finds Korzans. He's managed to get past his man. Abdul Samed finds Mikulov on the left-hand side into the penalty area. And the substitute's effort hits the outside of the post. Goes wide. We've got two and a bit minutes. Two and a half minutes to play from this point. Bakayoko with a free kick. This is going to be a massive victory that might mean absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. Bakayoko to Adjumani. Mikulov's in front of him. Does use the substitute. Lovely through ball to the other sub. Korzans is in on goal. And what a slide tackle that is. And we didn't see a corner. I think it just went straight over the top. One minute, 15 seconds left. Steal it. Wilson's just ran off the pitch. You should have, you should have left it, buddy. You really should have left it. We've now got 40 or 50 seconds left to play. Come on, just hold on. I shouldn't be playing positive right now, but I don't want to... I don't change anything. They're coming forward. Abdul Samed, who's had an absolute blinder of a game today. Valerenga with it on the right-hand side. Adjamani gets there. Kicks that straight down the tunnel. Good job, Adjamani. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, in fact. Valerenga's throw. It's in the middle. Donima's there. It's... You son of a... You absolute son of a... Five seconds left to play, and you've scored an equaliser. Zomers... Zomers, I hate you. I know you're a real person, and I don't hate you in real life, but you are just an absolute shambles at the moment. How have we... They've got ten men. At least it's a draw. I shouldn't say that, because they're going to score again. Okay, it's a draw. Europe's over, but we should have won. We should have won that game. Abdul Samad with two. Yurkovs with what should have been the winner. And Kjartansson with the equaliser in the 95th minute out of 95. Mean Valerenga pick up a point. So with one game left to play against Sparta Prague, we can't get through, can we? Literally, neither us nor Bashakja here can get through because I assume it's done on games against. So we have to play Sparta Prague, which we're obviously going to do off camera. Europe is over. We are going to probably finish bottom of the group, maybe third. Let's take a look to see how the uh, the old coefficients have gone. I, there is an easier way of getting to this, but I have no idea how. So. If we sort by that, we are 34th. I don't think we're going to move anywhere. A nice round 12, though. A nice round 12 for next season, or for this season. We've still got one more game, so it could creep up a little bit more. We get 0.4 for a win, 0 0.2... Uh, sorry, 0.45 for a win, 0.2 for a draw, I think is how it works. So, if we can get another draw, we might bump ourselves a little bit closer... And then we need to look at maybe Belarus next season. They're going to massively drop because they're going to lose a five-pointer. So are Slovakia going to lose a 5.125. So some teams just ahead of us are going to be losing big numbers and hopefully replacing them with little numbers. Well, that is going to do it then for this episode. And probably there's going to be maybe two more episodes of Season 3 to go because what I'm going to do next episode, we're going to come back around February time and then we're probably going to come back at the end of the season we've still got a lot of league games to play we're actually only about 10 games in we've played eight league games so maybe there's three episodes left we've only played eight league games this season thank you very much for watching this one if you did enjoy do please remember to hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new I'll be back next time with some Latvian high league football and probably winning some games that'll be nice thanks for watching see you next time